UW Madison is making a major promise to low income families in the state. Bucky's tuition promise was unveiled today at the system's Board of Regents meeting. Eric Franke is in the newsroom to tell us more about it, Eric. A major new investment by the state's flagship university, Mark and Susan. Incoming freshmen will have their four-year tuition and fees covered by the UW. Two years for incoming transfer students from Wisconsin. It applies to all families whose household adjusted gross income is $56,000 a year or less, so below the median family income in Wisconsin. It's all based on the one line on a federal tax return, adjusted gross income, no other qualifying factors here, no separate applications, and overall this is expected to cover more than 800 students at each new incoming class of freshmen and transfer students. The plan also could have a major impact on getting rural students to UW-Madison. Well, I think it is disproportionately people in smaller towns or in rural parts of the state that are going to benefit from this because that is where incomes are somewhat lower. And it's why we took the median, you know, 56,000, the median income level in the state. It's also true there'll be some people um, in some of the big cities. We've got plenty of poverty in Milwaukee and in Madison and lower and moderate income families as well that I think can benefit. So the big question, how to pay for it, Blank says it'll cost an additional $3.3 .3 million each year once they have four full classes enrolled in this plan, but it'll all come from private gifts and other institutional resources. It will not be paid for with tax dollars. Students would be eligible for further grants as well or scholarship aids to cover things like housing and food, but a huge commitment today from the UW-Madison set to begin this coming fall. Mark and Susan? It really is indeed. Eric, thank you. You're welcome.